Hello everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonsStamp.com and I have a card idea using the Alta New Wonderland flowers. I have my supplies out, I'll go through them really quickly, and this is the Wonderland set. It has some really beautiful flowers, especially the Cosmo one. Nice long stem flowers. It also has a set of matching dies and a stencil that you could also use with that. For this card, I'll be using Moda Scraps paper, and this is the Best Friends Forever paper pack, and I was really taken by the colors and some of the really light patterns from this paper pack. I'm also using the Wendy Vecchi Make Art Washi Tape, and I thought the colors really went well together with the paper that I'd chosen. And finally, I have a white card and some Simon Says Stamp Vellum, which I'll be stamping my flower onto. I wanted to give you a quick tip on using your Misty along with the stamp and die together. Because this stem can be moved around really easily, if I place it into the die, I can grab the stamp with the door and then I can peel off the die. And so once it's stamped and die cut, everything will match up perfectly. I'll be silver embossing my flower on the vellum. And right now I've just inked that up with the Simon Says Stamp Clear Embossing Ink. And shut the door and press that right onto the vellum. I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Silver Embossing Powder and I'm generously spreading that all over the flower and tapping off the excess. And once I have the flower completely covered with embossing powder, I'm using my hot heat tool to melt the powder until I have a really nice shine. I've used some tape to hold down my die and I'll run that through my machine. At this point I'm ready to do some assembly and this is where the papers come in. I have cut a panel to four and a quarter by five and a half inches and I'm putting some adhesive on the back and I'll be mounting this to a Simon Says Stamp top folding card. What I really like about this card is once I put my vellum flower on top I can still see the pattern paper underneath. To glue down my flower I am using my Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue and I also have an applicator tip on this to give me a really fine line and that is the 20 gauge 18 by 420 applicator tip from Fine Line, and I'm adding dots just behind that embossing. And then I can glue that right onto that panel. You can see the shine of that embossing and the paper pattern showing through. I've also cut up some strips of some of the other patterns and added them to the card. This will give me a nice backing to anchor my greeting. And once I have everything in place, I can use my scissors to cut off the excess around the edges. I'll be adding a couple layers of the washi tape and I've torn off a circular pattern and it has a bit of gray in it and also some yellow. And also a wider piece with yellow stripes. I'm using a greeting from the Wonderland stamp set and I'm also using my Misty. I have placed that onto the grid paper underneath and I'll ink this up with a light tone ink to make sure that I have the alignment really well. And for that I'll be using Simon Says Stamp Fossil Ink. And once my alignment is clear, I have cut a strip of white cardstock and I've used a little bit of adhesive on each side of those and I'll be placing it right on the grid just over my lightly stamped image. And I'm inking up the stamp once again with the fossil ink, shutting the door and pressing that right onto the strip. I find this a really easy way to align my strips and stamping. I'll trim this up and add a little bit of foam adhesive for dimension. And here's the finished card where you can see that pattern paper coming through that vellum and also a really nice place to land my greeting. I hope I've given you some inspiration in using the Wonderland stamp from Alta New and stamping on vellum. And as always, thanks so much for watching.